morning everybody, Calm Biker here. Coming down the gears, make some noise. <laughs> and that's the, uh, the topic of this video. I was reading an article the other day, I think it was on Visor Down or one of those websitey type things, you know. Websitey type things, we're aware, all aware of websitey type things, aren't we? And it was talking about bikes and petrol bikes and electric bikes. And I know that uh, a lot of people will turn their noses up at electric bikes, but I didn't realise quite how many and by quite how much. And apparently, around about a third of people, third of people who ride, who are uh, surveyed, said that if they could only ride electric bikes, if the government actually banned petrol bikes, which at the minute is not actually on the uh, the plan, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that, but at the minute it's just cars, I believe, that are going to be um, prevented from buying brand new petrol cars in a few years. I'm sure bikes will come into it too at some point. But they said that if they did get to that point where they couldn't have a petrol bike, they could only have electric, that they would give up riding. And I thought, at first, that's quite a high number. And then I thought, it's probably not true either. I mean, there's a lot of people, we all, we all know somebody who'll get very upset about something um, and say they'll stop doing something if they're prevented from doing it the way they want. But actually, when push comes to shove, they don't stop. So I think there's probably quite a lot of that third that if they were actually told that they had to kind of hang up their um, hang up the leathers or get on an electric bike I suspect they would get on an electric bike but anyway the, the thing went on to say that this will be a major problem for manufacturers and we won't have as many bikes on the road and blah 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 so let's start with the first thing questioning of 30 percent how many of you would actually give up riding just because you couldn't ride petrol and why because the only thing I can think that's different, well, there's two things that are different at the minute. One is the gears. So generally speaking, the electrics don't have gears because you don't need it. Though it's not impossible to have gears. And if people said they were going to give up bikes because they didn't have gears, the manufacturers would put gears on the electric bikes pretty quickly, I suspect. So the only thing I can think it will be is the noise. Now, I love the noise of this bike. Anybody who's been on one of my ride outs, <laughs> we, we all start with a rev, knows I love the sound of this bike. It's kind of, it's MotoGP, I love it. <laughs> it's angry, it's snarly, it pops and crackles and bangs. It sounds awesome. But it isn't the reason I ride it. It gives me a little bit of extra pleasure, because it is fun. You know, it's childish fun. But it isn't the reason I ride. If it was, I could save myself thousands of pounds on bikes and thousands of pounds on fuel by buying a CD of motorcycle noises. In fact, I could just record it and then play it on my headphones whenever I felt like it. And that would give me my fix and I would be completely happy and I'd have all that money spare to go and do something else I enjoy. And I suspect there's not anybody out there really who only rides a bike because they, they like to listen to the noise it makes maybe there are a few of those but I don't think that accounts for anywhere near 30% of the riders uh, of motorcycles in this country that just sounds stupid doesn't it so if it's not that you only ride for the sound if you actually ride for the pleasure of going somewhere on a bike for the just pleasure of going around corners on a bike for just enjoying the camaraderie of bikes, the ride outs, all the other things, none of those will go away with electric. So I don't quite understand that 30% other than people having a standard kind of knee-jerk reaction to, to change, not wanting to change. But if you are one of those who would, then please do put it in the comments. The other thing the article said that I found quite interesting, at first I thought, oh yeah, that's a problem. And then actually once you've put two minutes thought into it, which it's actually the case with a lot of these articles, they don't bear close scrutiny. 
I doubt it will be a problem for the manufacturers of bikes. Because for the next, well, I mean, it's 2021 now. For the next nine years at least, that's, I think it's 2030 when the rules start to come in, maybe 2035, but it varies across Europe. If it's just Britain, I don't think they care a, t a jot, um, but it's across Europe as well. And it, I'm sure it will be across the world at some point. But for the next nine, 14 years, whatever it might be, we can all carry on buying these things and enjoying them. And after that, you know, you, if you buy one in the last year that you're allowed to, you're not going to get to the end of that year and then get told that you've got to park it up and never use it again. So you'll, you know, you could get another 10 years out of it easily, another 20 years out of it if you look after it. So I suspect that personally, I'm at least 35 miles away, 35 miles, 35 years away, slightly distracted then by that buzzard. Um, I'm at least 35 years away from actually having to ride an electric bike, by which point the technology is probably going to be awesome. Um, or maybe there'll be something else entirely. And, you know, in 35 years' time, I'll be 83, so I'll be coming to the end of my riding career anyway, if I'm still alive. So actually, the people who are going to be really affected by it are the people who are getting onto bikes now, and people who are getting onto bikes over the next 20 or 30 years. And the problem that we've got at the moment is that there's a general lowering of the number of people getting onto bikes. And I don't think that's because of the future risk of you know, people when they're 17 thinking, oh, I would buy a bike, but when I'm 52, I might have to buy an electric one. That's not happening, is it? So I suspect that entire article is rubbish. But I'm intrigued to know what you think. Let me know in them there comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ride safe, and I'll talk to you all again soon.